vlog. We're coming to you pre-recorded, not at all live from Chicago. And we are here for four nights. We're staying at the Hilton Palmer and it's so cute. And this is sexy, cool Mike. I can't wait to do a hotel tour because this is so cute. Like our room is fine, whatever, but the hotel is so pretty. But right now we're about to go meet up with my friend Julie, which if you saw the Miami vlog, literally the first thing was that the first thing I posted on YouTube? No, it might have been the second thing I posted on YouTube, but it was like three or four years. Oh my God, it might have been four full years ago. But that friend, Julie, who kept saying, welcome to the vlog. She is here in Chicago. She lives here. And we're going to go meet up with her for lunch right now. And then we don't really have many plans for the day. I feel like the first day of travel is always just kind of like strolling around. But we are going on the architecture river cruise later. I've been here before, but Mike's never been, so this is exciting. This is probably our last American trip, which if you know, you know, and if you don't, I'm not going to talk about it yet because you'll find out later. I love Chicago. This, Chicago is like top, top, top cities for me in the U.S. I haven't been to a ton of cities in the U.S., but Chicago's up there. We considered moving here for a while, but anyways. We're gonna go for a little walk, go have lunch, and then we're gonna go on our little boat tour later and just see the city. Let's get it. Solidarity with my wife who cut her eyeball with a razor. I will no longer see. We don't know see. about that. I cut my cornea. It's fine now, but I did cut my cornea with a facial razor. The bean is closed, and this is some BS because I didn't see it last time I was here. Well, that's my own fault, but still, what the hell? This is the best of the bean. Day two in Chi Town. I'm still not feeling the vlogging mood, the vlogging spirit, but I'm doing my best here. We had such a nice day yesterday. It was really good. Okay. It was really cute. We just walked around for hours. We went to the park. There was like a little jazz festival thingy going on. Wait, can we stop here so I can just do this and not feel scared when people are around? Today we're going to this little like French market thing and then. I just want to go check out some different neighborhoods and see like cute houses and different like little towny architecture, but we'll see. I have a little, I have a little ice mocha. Oh, that's so embarrassing. I hate that.
had a little anxiety today because I didn't, because I drank yesterday. That's pretty much why. This is all we needed. Some apparuskies. Oh, and the bolognese came right after. Micey got a big ass deep dish pizza to himself because he forgot to order a small. Are you going to eat it all? Defo. <laughs> I'm trying to be gluten free for health reasons, but how could I not try it? Okay. okay, we're done with our food. I'm so full. And Mike took the pizza to go because it's so big, it's so much food. I wish you could feel how heavy it was. He's like, take this pizza, feel it. Oh, he wants to show She's thick, thick. All right, don't do that. You're going to drop it. She's a thicky though. He was like, feel how heavy this is. And he went to hand it to me. And I'm not exaggerating. I literally was like, oh, oh, what the hell? How much do you think it weighs in pounds? 10, 15. <laughs> no, it doesn't weigh 15 pounds. But it's heavy for sure. It's like a five pounder. A five pounder. Also, I went to the bathroom in there and there was cocaine in the bathroom. And I'm not I'm not being dramatic. There was literally nothing else that it could have been. It was like white powder all over this little silver table thingy. Who was doing it? The workers or the customers? Leave your opinions down below. I'm voting workers because they were all dripping sweat. It is hot as hell though. But still, I was like, y'all are up to something. Some kind of butterfly Baby, you give me fear that I love You whip up my appetite Feeling a little vibey out here I'm not dancing on the camera <laughs> proven to be the worst vlogger ever because every day I feel like I've just gotten like two seconds of talking which is fine I guess I'll get over it I've just not been a, a little vloggy girl because I wanted to do a quick room tour which I don't know if it's the best idea for me to do it at the end because the room's a little messy like all our stuff is packed oh my god I almost forgot my pillow I just had to buy this at the airport because I forgot my other one at home but anyways the room's a little bit messy because it's like packed, but it's like, it's like dirty. Okay, it's dirty. There's stuff everywhere. 
Oh, we like to see what the rooms we're working with are. We're staying at the Hilton Palmer. This is the bathroom. Shower pressure, A1. Oh, just walked into the door. And we had a little walk-in closet. I was so proud of Mike. He actually unpacked this trip. Oh my God. Then you have me. We have a little mini bar that like literally locks, which is BS, but now you can see all our junk everywhere. It's like wine glasses, water bottles, whatever. And then this is the view. Mike said it's a horrible view, but I actually think it's quite nice. It's not like the best view ever, but it just means like this building, but at least it's got nice detail on it, okay? That's that. And then try and show you guys downstairs because it's absolutely beautiful. the elevator area the ceiling says it all i feel we were saying it feels like a cruise ship because there's like a little jewelry place and then look at this grand entrance how beautiful is this apparently this is like the oldest continuous running hotel and that's where we get coffee every day <laughs> in in the world I was not in the vlogging mood, so I didn't even do an outro. So I just want to say thank you so much. I love you if you made it to the end, and I'll see you in the next one. Like and subscribe. Love you. Bye.